Hi there, this is Justin. In this video, I'm going to show you how I use Zapier to save myself a ton of time creating my daily to-do list. What you see on my screen is a Zap that I've created called Start the Workday Version 2. So I used to have a different version, which was version 1 of this app, and now we're looking at a new and improved version of it. Um, and this Zap uses the trigger, uh, a special type of trigger in Zapier, called um, New Push. And I'm going to explain what this is all about, but in short, it connects with the Zapier Chrome extension. So if I click on the Chrome extension over here, you can see Start the Workday version 2 appears. If I click Send, it's going to trigger the Zap. So that's the trigger, New Push. It's you know one of the built-in uh, trigger options in Zapier. And underneath that, you can see this is a multi-step Zap. Excuse me. Um, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 actions, one after the other. And you can basically see that all of them are tasks to, uh, or actions that create tasks in a Asana. Um, so the idea here is we have a trigger, which is new push, which will be triggered manually using the Chrome extension. And once that happens, uh, Zapier is going to create nine tasks for me in Asana. So if we go into one example, you can see we're looking at Asana. The action is create task. And you can see over here that basically right now it's showing the IDs of the different, um, you know, sections within Asana. But what's great is you can actually pick the workspace, the project, and the section. Um, so it, it puts the task exactly where you want. And over here, the first one is called build task list, list for today. So that's kind of the first task that I, I want to work on in the day is to actually build my to-do list, my task list. Uh, set a due date for today. Uh, it's assigned to me, et cetera, et cetera. And then basically in you know a certain order that I want to work through these tasks, I create them in the Zap. So once you've created that Zap, um you know and you you've uh, installed the chrome extension and logged into it you'll see the zap appear uh, assuming you know you, you've got obviously turn it on so let's go ahead and activate or trigger the zap okay and we're just gonna give it a second and i'm gonna jump into asana you can actually see in real time it's creating the tasks for me all automated So basically, when I start my workday, I open up um, my browser, it auto loads Asana and Notion, which is another tool I use. And then I'll manually come up here and I'll click, I'll click send. And it's going to go ahead and in the section today, it's going to create these tasks. Now, obviously, you'll need to decide what tasks you want to create each and every day. For me, it's basically building the task, the, the task list for today. So whatever I need to do today, I'm going to go ahead and add it to the bottom of the list. So I like to work from top to bottom. I'll scroll down and, and see what's in my backlog in Asana um, and move them up and add them to the list. Uh, once I've done that, I'll mark it all. I'll mark it completed. I then go through like it's written here, go through existing tasks in Asana. So I'll go through the backlog and I'll, I'll add to the list. I then do some daily journaling in Notion. I read the manifesto, which is a document that I have in, in uh, Notion. I'll open my Google Calendar just to make sure I know um, I'm aware of all the meetings I have that day. And then lastly, from this automated list is inbox zero for three different emails. So I've got where to Israel project beyond videos, three different uh, inboxes that I go through each day. And then lastly is basically close my emails so I can then move on to the next items that I've added to the list. 
So that's it. Um, it's a really, really cool way to automatically create a to-do list, um, something that, you know, a list of tasks that you plan to accomplish each and every day. And you could see in two clicks, I end up creating as many tasks as needed um, in the order I choose, in the section in Asana that I choose. And it just saves a ton of time and is very, very convenient. So thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, let me know in the comment section below. I appreciate it if you hit the like button or consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.